I did see your first derby. It was like you got loads of sand next year. I'm excited for you know, your first derby. Yeah, it looks like it's a big deal. <laughs> no, really pumped. Um, you know, I know it's a big game on the calendar when um, you play in a two-team town and there's such a good rivalry and um, I think over and above that, we're just excited for another opportunity. We're a little bit disappointed with our performance on the weekend. So in a short season, the next game um, is so important. So, yeah, just keen to get out there and get back to our competitive best. Is this a game that you and the girls kind of mentally earmarking your head a little bit? Um, Oh, I know. I know it um, carries some significance, um, given the relationships across the two teams, having all played a lot of junior footy together and a lot of um, cross-team kind of movement. But um, to be honest, you do just get in that uh, rhythm of week to week and preparing for the next opportunity, which is the most important. And yeah, here it is, and we're excited to be a part of it. I think it'll be a great event, and obviously attached to a really important cause. Um, both through the RAC and the importance of the work that they do with road safety, but also the opportunity for us to both clubs do their part in raising some money for Talathon. So, um, yeah, the footy we look forward to, but it's cool to be a part of such an important event. I know this is your first um, derby as coach, but is this the closest the Eagles are to securing a first derby win? Yeah, because it's this one. <laughs> um, we can't really go back and change the past. Um, and yeah, we're really proud of the improvements that we've made this year, and um, but so mindful of the ongoing improvement that we need to do, to keep um, going after to make sure we can compete with the best. We got a great reminder of that on the weekend from a really impressive Hawthorne outfit who, um, yeah. we aspire to do so um, yeah we, we've been proud of where we've gotten to we come into this game really confident that we can take it to Fremantle but um, yeah probably the thing front of mind is the things we need to keep working on to keep building the, the team we want to become. Lisa do the girls I guess lean on a little bit the fact that you have been the big sisters of the town and dominated the derby in times gone by? Um, I think this year especially, that the competition is closer than it have, as it ever has been and um, Daisy's done a great job over there. So I think we really can't look too much further than what we can do this weekend. Um, as we said as well, that we were disappointed with our game on the weekend. We're fiercely determined to get better and um, I know that's burning, whether it's against West Coast or our next opposition. So we're really hungry to get back on the winner's list and, um, yeah, what greater game than a derby? Yeah, does the intensity come from the fact that it is a derby or is it more the performance uh, last week? I think probably the performance last week. I mean, our girls are really hungry. They turn up, you know, every day wanting to get better and, um, you know, it's still worth four points this weekend. Obviously, it's a really significant game on the calendar but one that we're driving to get better every week and, as Dave said before, this opportunity presents itself really nicely for us. What if you superstars in doubt? Uh, of course, missed out on the game. Hayley Miller, how's she tracking and... Will she play? Yeah, yeah, we're certainly hopeful. Um, you know, she loves the derbies, but we've got a bit to work through this week in that case. One for both of you. Do you feel like this spectacle, given how much is on the line for both of you at clubs, finals, contention, everything, being a derby as well, that it we're missing a bit not being at Optus Stadium, the best stadium in WA? You got this <laughs> um, Oh, look, we would have relished the opportunity to get out on Optus. It's such an amazing venue, but understand the the challenges that were being had at the ground and then you just move on like I'm not really in the business of dwelling for too long my job is to you know prepare the team as best we can to perform and um yeah compete really well on the weekend so that it's a, a good contest for the people that get down here and I mean to be here at Leaderville today it offers a, a different but great opportunity like boutique venue um we hope to get you know double figure crowd in here double figure thousands yeah. I didn't say that very well. Went. About 10,000. Um, like, imagine that here. It'd be an awesome atmosphere. So, um, yeah, I don't dwell too long. I just look forward to the opportunity we've got and, um, yeah, excited to be a part of it. So, also, Emma Swanson's rookie of game as club captain and as an Eagle. Can you tell us a bit about her significance to the club and, um, yeah, what, what it means to reach this milestone? Oh, Swanee's just the ultimate competitor. Um, and, and professional and she set the, the bar with that um, amongst our team from the minute she got there and even before that with what she's done in WA footy. Um, she's been such a loyal person to the club um, and been a really important figure that's galvanised the group through challenging times. Um, 
over the years and now um, she continues to lead the way uh, with the way that she trains and prepares, the way she turns up with an enthusiasm just to want to get out there and play um, and then signified this year in her, uh, you know, team first approach to playing a different role and really embracing that and, you know, doing whatever she can to help the team succeed. So, yeah, it'll be awesome to celebrate Swanee in that way and um, a terrific milestone. They're hard to come by in AFLW, so to play... 50 games as a club captain is a pretty outstanding achievement. Lisa, it's been described as the biggest derby ever. You've just been involved uh, as a coach and player. Where, where do you see that comparison? Yeah, uh, big game. Obviously, Daisy's at the helm, which is really exciting as well. We've got, as Daisy said before, you know, two teams that are really searching for that next win. Um, I guess just having a look at the ground and, and you know, thinking about 10,000 here will be absolutely incredible. So I guess for both of us as coaches, we, we want to show, you know, the best version of uh, both of our teams and what a great opportunity this week. I mean, it's going to be a great battle. It always is between both teams and um, it's just an exciting opportunity as well. Season's so short, so uh, I know we both want to make our mark on this game this weekend. Lisa, what's your feedback been to the group that spoke about sort of slow starts previously? It sort of has happened again. What was your feedback to the group during that game against the Blues and going into this um, derby to get a fast start? Yeah, I thought we started quite well, um, especially in the first 10, and, and then we just let the next 10 go, and I was really disappointed with that, as we were with the group. So brought out the old-fashioned spray at quarter time, which I haven't had to do too many of. So, um, yeah, obviously they responded. We, we let it go again. So we just had two kind of 10-minute patches where we were really disappointed, but... Um, once again, the girls, you know, we reviewed really harshly yesterday as we do because, you know, we want to get better. Um, and just this opportunity to, you know, play against a really good team in good form is exciting for us. So um, it is what it is and um, we're, we're looking forward to it. Will Ella Roberts be a bit of a focus for, for you shutting her down? Yep, I've certainly heard of her. She's a handy <laughs> player. Um, yeah, she's one we obviously need to put a lot of time in, but she's not the only one on that team that got... You know, a lot of great players and um, I can't believe um, Swanee's only been around for 50 games. I know she's listening over there. I feel like she's been around a bit longer. So, um, yeah, there's lots of players in that team that we can target and, and, and certainly Ella's one that comes up. Daisy, what have you made of the, the Dockers and their season so far and the list they put together? Yeah, they just play such a competitive team brand of footy. Um, it's been, you know, pretty impressive what they've been able to achieve given that the, the significant injuries and outs that they had at the start of the year. Um, I mean, to take Kiara Bowers and Ange Stannard out of their team and see them continue to just turn up and compete is, um, yeah, we admire that. They play such a contested, strong brand of footy. Um, their ability to keep the ball in their front half keeps them in every game. They're hard to score against because of that and um, they find a way to win a lot of the time. So um, we know it's going to be a, a really tough contest for, for 80 minutes and had a couple of hit outs with them across the pre-season and then one in an official pre-season game at the start of the year. So um, yeah, we've, we've had a bit of a look at the way they play and um, we've now had time to kind of prepare and improve the things that I guess they exposed in us over the, the pre-season. So um, yeah, we go in with um, excitement to test ourselves out against them. Daisy, what would you rate as the biggest rivalry from your playing days and um, as a two-town, two-team town sort of compared to that? Yeah, it's certainly unique, um, you know, to see the, the excitement around the game. It's awesome to be a part of. I guess um, the biggest rivalry for us, I guess playing against Adelaide for a long time was, was it. Um, yeah, and through that journey it took us a long time to to crack them and um, it was a bit of a, a hurdle to overcome so I guess there's some similarities in that but yeah it's what I've always loved about the game is those those big games and those big rivalries so um, yeah we'll be we'll be pumped to be a part of it. Lisa, Daisy mentioned Cara Bowers there obviously she won the first four medals and, and the derby medal is unnamed um, as it stands. Is, is her name one that you'd like to see put up for potentially getting that honour in the future? Yeah, potentially. I think the biggest thing for her, she's back on the gram, starting to put some posts out there about how she's working out. So she could be a sneaky chance this week, days. So <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Just let you know that just, I know you guys think you got it all sorted out there, but I reckon she's a sneaky chance this week. Um, Luke is going to run through the banner, so there's your exclusive. No, um, there's plenty of amazing women that could have their name on that. And Turbo's not about you know, all that she's about, you know, turning up and as we said, she's a massive player that wants to compete week in, week out. Um, but yeah, she's something that, someone that if I mentioned to it, she'd be mortified. But um, yeah, I think it'd be a great honour for whoever got it. Thank you.
baby? For the, the medal? Yeah. Oh, I mean, Jan Cooper comes to mind for me. She was such an influential figure um, throughout, you know, my early days as a player. Um, I think it was Debbie Lee in Victoria who really um, fought and pushed for women to have greater opportunities in the game and, um, you know, it was Jan Cooper over here doing similar work and without those two women I don't think the game would be where it is now. So she's the first name that com comes to mind, having not put a, a heap of thought into it. There's been some amazing players as well. Um, that yeah, in time I'm sure whoever whoever's names attached to it will be really deserving. What would it make for your group to be the first to claim a Debbie win for the Eagles? Um, it would mean four points, and it would mean great progress. <laughs>